red skunk, black skunks, another black skunk, and a baby skunk. That's right, friends. Harry's back once again, alive and in color. Working on building up a whole herd of skunk cows. Got the old white place heifer over here. New baby born the other day. Got that white face, white on its ears there, down its leg, its belly, stripe on its back. That's mama skunk. That's the newest addition to the farm. Okay, it's really grown. I believe the other caves and this other field over here in the creek feeder. They wiring it out. You don't want to see them up there now. Look like that nurse enjoying the salt lick over there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Caves found a feeding a creek feeder. The rest of them found salt over there. Salt tub. Been one of them years we've been busy, been spraying sticky careless up here in the barn lot. Late getting it done, it got bigger than what we wanted it to. But you do what you can when you can. Harry stays mighty busy. Monks are doing hay and everything else he's got going on. Caves are growing now. These caves over here are out of Willow Oaks Bulls. Willow Oak Star. It don't take them long to learn to raise that flap up on the salt feeder, figure out where it salts at. We keep salt and mineral out for them, fly treating. Got that garlic in it. Supposed to help keep the flies down. There's the new baby. Leggy calf, too. Nothing like walking through the pasture field looking at the herd of cattle down the evening. That red white face would make a real replacement here for on the old wrong.
Mama skunk there is out of a brown Swiss cow, milk cow, and a registered black Angus bull. She gets the skunk stripe uh, from the little bitty short horn at the brown Swiss. She was crossed with a brown Swiss and short horn. She looked like a purebred short, uh, brown Swiss, but they just enough short horn in her. Made her throw calves like that with a skunk stripe on. When you go to cross some different breeds of cattle like that, it's interesting to see what kind of colors you come out with. If you keep just a little bit of milk stock in them, really make them milk and grow a good calf. They got enough beef breed in them with the cross to have good meat. Get that marbling fat. That's where the old Angus and Whiteface come in for the beef side of things. To have a good steak, you want a little bit of marbling fat in there. In the right place. A little bit of marbling fat in there in the right places. Give it that good flavor. There's a lot more to genetics and raising cattle than what most folks think about. You just go sit down and eat a hamburger, steak, what have you. Never give it a second thought. There ain't a lot of breeding and genetics and all kinds of stuff goes in the background of cattle to really grow a nice animal. Old red white face Herefords. Friends, y'all have a good evening. Come back and see you.